Hey guys, um, I'll just hit it. I'll just hit you with the facts. Uh, I did not do well on my first day of trying to trade an express funded account. Um, I hit the daily loss limit. Uh, the account is not blown out, but um, I don't have that much money left to work with. I've got fifteen hundred dollars left to work with on the express funded. Um, I am not going to uh, start another combine um, because I'm not going to trade on anything but trading view. So guys, I will continue to make content and I will continue to make videos. Um, I will be trading my own personal uh, trade station account and I will be trading the micro NASDAQ. Now guys, because it will be a cash account, um, I have to be extremely cautious with it. Guys, I'm not trying to lose all my money. So you will be seeing me trade one micro NASDAQ. Um, as boring as that sounds, if I do live uh, session recordings, right? If I record what I'm doing, uh, it will be one micro NASDAQ because it will be real money. So I am confident in my ability to trade at this point. Um, I know exactly what I need to do, even if I've not always done it. Um, and so I'm not afraid to to put in a little real cash and actually uh, and, and try it the old fashioned way. Um, there are advantages to trading your own cash, like on TradeStation, the spread here on the micro NASDAQ is pretty much never going to go above two ticks. Um, the executions are a little bit snappier. Um, I can I can do a little bit like I can drag and drop the the order slider, and um, not that I use not that I use level two data, but um, Obviously, with the DOM here on TradeStation, uh, it's actually 10 levels of depth of market. So, um, you know, I want to trade on top step, but at the end of the day, uh, I'm not going to trade on Rhythmic. I'm only going to trade on TradeStation, or sorry, on TradingView. So, You know, um, is what it is. Uh, so I will be making videos, guys, but it will be on on uh, on TradeStation. Okay, guys. Bye, bye.